You wanna know how to be good at basketball? Today I'm gonna to break exactly that down for you. When it comes to basketball, there's a lot of skills you gotta develop, right? We gotta talk about ball handling, shooting, layups. So where do you start? What do you do? Well, in this video, I wanna make sure you have an understanding of drills you can work on to start developing that side of things and so you can become a better basketball player. First things first, ball handling like on offense and just in general is one of the most important skills you can develop because think about this. How many jump shots can you get up in 30 seconds? Maybe two jump shots, three, if you're really, really good. How many dribbles can you get in in 30 seconds? Maybe a hundred, right? Rock, rocking out these dribbles real quick, down low, right? You can get out a lot of dribbles, a lot of repetitions, a lot of practice quickly. So it's one of the quickest skills to improve, number one. Number two, it's one of the best skills to have because it's the glue that brings all your other skills on offense together, right? If I'm gonna go into a shot, I, I can use my dribble to create separation and get more of those shots off and get more space so I can get a clean look. I can use my handles to get my layups off and get past my defenders. I can create passing angles, all that stuff, right? But the other thing a lot of people don't think about is if I'm working on my ball handling ability, a lot of the things that you need for good handles, look at this nice wide low stance. What do I need that for? Selling fakes with my feet, using my footwork. What else would that come in handy with with having quick feet? Defense, right? Wide low stance, moving the feet. What else comes in handy from your ball handling ability? Well, what's happening every time the ball comes in and out of my hands? I'm basically doing a release and a catch. What do you release the basketball where you need to control it really well? You're shooting, you're passing, right? You're getting better control over the basketball. And of course, an overlooked skill, catching, right? To catch and shoot, to catch and drive. You gotta get better at catching the basketball. Well, when you're dribbling the basketball, you're catching it with one hand. So if one hand starts to become a piece of cake, two will be really, really easy. So that's why I recommend you start with your ball handling ability. So here's something you can do that's so simple. All you need to do is keep a basketball around and dribble daily. Now, I'll give you some like more specific drills at the end of the video and I'll give you a few things to work on right here too. But like, if you really wanna get better at handles, like one of the things I would do is just make a habit of saying, hey, I'm gonna get in at least 10 minutes of dribbling every single day. So some of the things I would do is like literally just picture I got a defender on me and pulling off moves, right? Trying to shake my defender, working on different combos, bringing different moves together, right? So learning all your individual moves, bringing them together. If I'm walking down the sidewalk, I'm gonna move around, right? I'm just gonna kind of work on some of my moves while I'm moving down the street, down the sidewalk, right? You can do all that kind of stuff. I can come around, if there's like a pole or someone on the sidewalk, I'll come around them, right? There's a lot of different things you can do to mess around and have fun. And really, ball handling, is much of it is as a skill, and I really work on this channel showing you like the drills and things you can do and the specific mechanics to make your moves more effective. It's also very much an art form, unlike most skills. Like your shot, it should be the same almost every time. Defense is very like about intensity and there's a right way to do it. Ball handling is one of those things that's kind of a gray area. There's an art form to it, right? So that's why we always see new moves start coming out like the sham god and you know, all these little variations of them. Ball handling is something you should just go out and have fun with. Dribble the basketball every day, play around with it, work on different combos, and basically just keep the basketball in your hand and keep yourself entertained. But at the end of the day, it's about getting that consistency in. Okay, next thing's next, layups. First of all, get your basics down. Like at the end of the video, I'll link you to some like more basic type layups, just like your one, two step, going into your layup like that. You know, stuff like that, you gotta get down. All you really need to know for that is you pick up the basketball on your first step, and if you're gonna go with the left hand layup, usually that's gonna be your left step, gather the basketball, second step, and then go up for that layup. And then you could do the same thing, of course, on the right side, right? Gather the basketball on the right side, put the right step down, left step, jump, go up for that layup. Control the basketball with both hands. Work on repping that out to get it down. If that's too hard, you can even just come next to the basket and work on repping that out. Just doing little bank shots like that just to get your feel for making the shot. And then as your handles improve and you get that gather and the steps down, you should be good to go. Big thing to pay attention to, make sure you're getting your steps right on both sides. Usually I'll see players, like if they're a righty on the left side, they'll do the right left still. And now what they'll end up with is this. Usually you wanna be like this when you're starting. As you get more advanced, you can work on advanced layups like with the off foot up. But usually you want same side leg and foot up. It'll help you jump a little bit higher, get your layups off a little crisper, cleaner, and with more power. But once you got that down, same thing with like your ball handling. 
Layups can become a little bit, as you get more advanced, a little bit more of an art form. Like if you watch Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, they don't always just go right, left, right? But they mastered those things first, so make sure you're doing the same. But once you got those down, you can start throwing up ball fakes and then coming under the rim to the other side. You can start working on one step layups where you just take one step instead of two. Right, there's a lot of variations. You can go high off the glass, wide off the glass. You can start adding pass fakes and going to layups. You can start working on the euro step to come across the basket, selling a fake with those two steps. So there's a lot of things you can add into the mix and you should definitely be playing around and bringing those things together. Again, the playlist I'll give you at the end will really help you bring all those elements together. Though. Okay, next up, shooting. For shooting, you wanna get that form consistent and you're not gonna do that if you're more of a beginner and you're becoming a player that likes to come out to the three point land right away. You wanna start off a little bit closer, okay? So start off closer to the rim, get your form locked down, you know, and you don't have to like go right next to the rim. I mean, for your warm ups, I recommend you stand next to the rim, but then after you got, okay, my form is solid, then maybe start more like by 10 feet right here. Get that shot off. And then from there, as you get that consistent, right? Okay, my form is still the same. I'm shooting the ball the exact same way. Then you can step out maybe to 15 feet, right? 15 feet, if you don't know where that is, it's the three or the free throw line. Elbow is probably a little bit more than 15 feet, but that's another spot I like to go. I'll just go back and forth. I'll literally come from the top of the key, do one dribble, one two step pull up. And that's something that I highly recommend you work on because it'll be a shot that you can get off in game situations. So a couple things you want to know for that is if I'm going to the right side, I'll dribble right hand, step with the left foot, and I'll try to get as close to that elbow as I can. You might not get all the way there, but get as close as you can. One, two. So left, right, again, right hand dribbling, left foot steps, because now I have protection from my defender over the basketball, and it looks like I might drive to the basket. And then as I bring that second step forward, they think I'm still going to the basket right as I'm rising up into the shot. If I'm gonna go to the left elbow, it would be the same thing, but opposite. So left hand dribbling, I would go right, left, okay? Really working on that footwork and getting it down. Also work on the hop, both feet landing, to the right side and to the left side. And then also I would recommend you work on step backs. So start maybe around the free throw line or one of these elbows and all you wanna do is dribble, take one, two step back or you can go hop. So both feet land. I prefer the hop because it's a little bit quicker. Same thing going the other direction, right? Left hand dribbling, one, two or both, okay? Besides that, some other things you'll want to pay attention to as far as form goes. Make sure you're getting that guide hand dropping off when you release the basketball. Extend that elbow. You don't want it straight up. You don't want it forward. Kind of in between there, okay? You want to make sure that elbow is extended. The wrist bends down. You also want to get that wrist bent back on the setup. That'll help you get more power in the shot. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Little bit of a jump. You don't have to high jump. It's more about the timing. So when you release the shot, you want everything extending at the same time. That'll give you good rhythm and better power. So if my knees are extending, my hips are extending, my elbows extending, that wrist is flicking all at the same time, you're probably gonna get a lot more easy, effortless power on that shot. And you should also be on your tiptoes at that same point. So, it's not about jumping high, it's about getting that timing right. Once you've got like some of these things solid, then I would focus a little more at getting out to the three point line. And once you get to the three point line, start off with just making sure your mechanics are the same. Focus on that first. If your mechanics are changing all the time because you're trying to heave that shot up, you need to take a couple steps in and get things right from there and start making those shots consistently and with consistent form. Then when you've got that down, step out to the three point line, get those down. Consistent form, consistent speed, and then start working on the things I gave you earlier, right? That one, two step, both directions doing the hop, right? Right hand, left hand, basic stuff, but this is the stuff you're gonna use in 90% of game situations as far as getting your shot off. And then your step back, one, two, your hop, and then the other way, one, two, and hop. Now this is a lot to work on, and I would recommend you get in at least 300 shots a day. Yes, 300 shots a day. Now I know that might sound like a lot, 
if you're closer to the rim, it's easier. If you're further, it's gonna be harder because you're gonna have to chase the basketball down a little bit more unless you're making those shots. So make more shots and you do less chasing it down. If you can get someone to help you rebound, that'll save you a ton of time because you can just get reps in, reps in, reps in, and you don't have to spend as much time running around. Besides that, I'll link you again to a playlist at the end that will give you some more like drills and tips and things to help you instantly make more shots. In fact, there's one video in there showing you what you should aim for on the rim that'll help you instantly make more shots. Pin to the top comment, I'm gonna actually have all the things I mentioned earlier in the video. So I'm gonna have the playlist with ball handling drills and things you can work on on that side of things and moves that you should be working on, layups, shooting playlist that'll help you with knowing what to aim for, your form, all that stuff. And then another playlist that's more about basketball basics, you know, passing is gonna be in there, defense, things like that. And that'll really help you just develop your overall game and also have a 100% free hybrid ball handling workout that'll help you develop both your ball handling and your athleticism at the same time, which as we know, Athleticism is important in basketball, right? Being able to get past your defender quickly, being able to jump high in your layups, all that kind of stuff, right? Very, very important to get an advantage on the court. All that stuff's gonna be pinned to the top comment. Whatever's gonna help you most right now, you think, you know, as far as what you need in your game, I would get started on that and watch like all the videos, do the full workout. That's gonna help you more than anything. Like watching these videos is going to help, but watching more videos that continue to expand your knowledge and, and knowing what you can work on will help even more. And then of course, putting all this stuff into practice. You gotta get on the court and do work. Be sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you can catch all the newest videos the second they come out. They will continue to help your game. Hit that like button and drop me a comment. Let me know what else you wanna see from the channel. If there's something I haven't covered for some reason, let me know there. But also make sure you check out my other videos because I have like a thousand videos on my channel. I've got a huge library of things to help you out. So I'll see you in some of those videos that I'll pin to the comments or that workout down below. Make moves today.